Hello everybody. Just working at uh, hooking up my CO2. Um, I got a small power head here and what I'm going to do is in the bottom of it, hard to see here but in the bottom of it there's a there's a screen and there's a small hole in the bottom which I've sort of altered so I can uh, can put the hose up through the bottom inside the tank obviously not out here but I'm what I'm trying to do is uh, get the hose in there there we go there we go got that up through the bottom this goes this way in the tank and there's my power head so I'm going to install it that way down near the bottom of the tank and uh, it's going to work great there's a look at my uh, CO2 paintball tank with regulator and solenoid uh, I've got it installed on the opposite wall from where my tank is runs through the wall and over to my tank from behind so there's the power head that I'm going to put in and I'm going to install it down in this corner somewhere so there's my power head I've got it all ready to go in it goes in this way in the tank got the hose running up through the bottom of it and uh, just got to put the bracket inside the tank. So here's the power head. I've got it installed down at the bottom right hand corner of my tank. And I ran the hose from the CO2 into the bottom. Hard to see there, but it's right into the bottom of the uh, small power head that I have. And it's breaking up the, uh, the CO2. Fantastic. You can look in here, you can see how it's going right across the tank. And it's very fine, fine bumbles. So that should mix into the tank very well. And it's hidden down in behind the weeds. So what I'm going to do now is uh, sort of fix up the hoses and the wires at the back corner there. And it should work great. There's a shot of the tank. You can see how the bubbles are very tiny. So the uh, CO2 is getting broken up really good. And uh, should help the tank. Yeah. 